This is a basic orientation of the Citrus Report merchandising platform and design tool. To get started, go to thecitrusreport.com and click on Shop. This takes us to thecitrusreport.skew.com. You have to sign in, so go to the top right hand side. I'm going to sign in here. Then you go to my account on the top right hand corner. As you can see, you can view the number of artworks, the number of products, total sales and royalties, etc. On the left hand side, there's a dashboard where you can receive messages from the public. Then there's the account section where you can edit your profile. You can add your profile picture, create a username and choose name for display as username. Then we have the products library and the artwork library. In the artwork library, you can load original artwork and design assets. Then we have earnings and favorites and some statistics. To begin designing, you want to go to artwork and load artwork. So I'm going to click on add a new artwork, add file, and I'm going to select uh, this image here. Start upload. Currently, the 3D model can upload JPEGs, transparent PNGs, and vector files like SVG files and Adobe Illustrator AI files. If you look at the image guidelines link here, you can have more information on preferred file formats. I'm going to click Done and now go into Products. I'm going to click on Add a new product and you can design on backpacks, MacBook Pro cases, men's t-shirt and women's t-shirt. I'm going to click on men's t-shirt here. And as you can see, there's a 3D model of a men's t-shirt and I'm going to add artwork by going to the artboard layer on the left hand side and I'm going to select this image. As you can see, when I selected this image, it loaded as a layer onto the artboard. And uh, the image that I just brought in, if you take a look, the outside edges of this image is blue. Blue means that it's within the 150 DPI printing resolution. So it's great, it's gonna print sharp. If I uh, grab the edge here, hold down the shift and bring it out a little bit like this, you can see that the edges immediately turn red. So regardless of what you see here on the right hand side, if you stretch the image to red, it's going to be blurry. So you really don't want to do that. And always make sure that any assets that you bring in to the designer has a blue outline. And one of the things that you notice when I'm moving this thing here is that there's these panels that appear uh, to the left and right and above this main uh, body of the t-shirt. So what it is is their outlines of the t-shirt and if I wanted to have an image that prints uh, to the left side and it swings over to the left of the t-shirt um, I can place the image here and you'll see that it automatically will print seamlessly to the left. If I move it to the right side of the t-shirt it will print seamlessly to the right. Now, if I move it up to the top, there's a vertical view. This is an interesting view because you can uh, take a screenshot of this, bring it into Illustrator or Photoshop, and now you have a template you can work with in which you can directly design onto the t-shirt. If I place any kind of image here, let's say I'm going to stretch this out really big. I'm going to place it here, and as you can see, it'll wrap right around the t-shirt. So it's a really cool option to take advantage of. Now, what happens if I wanted to do an all over t-shirt and my images are clearly not big enough? I'm gonna scale this down to its original size here. So it's too small. So what I can do is if I go to the artboard layer here on the left hand side, I can select pattern fill. If I click on that and select the exact same image, it will automatically pattern for me. So what's cool about this is that I can scale it smaller, I can scale it larger, I can uh, rotate it by grabbing the corners. 
so something like that and uh, this is really cool but I can see that my collar looks completely out of place so one of the solutions around this is to design into the collar itself to do that you can go into object mode so up here on the artboard there's an object button I'm going to click into it and you see you get a different set of panels that pop up so each of these panels here reflect a different area of the t-shirt the ring here represents the collar so I'm going to click into the collar and I can either choose a specific color to go into that region or I'm going to cancel here or, or I can actually take the eyedropper go back into artwork and try to match it like that with just a solid color or if I don't want a solid color I can cancel and go into pattern fill and I'm going to change this image here from blank to the same image as the front, the citrus report. And as you can see, it automatically filled it. Um, I can change the scale smaller, larger, and then I can change the rotation until I'm happy. That looks pretty cool to me. So I'm going to go back now into artboard mode and click on artboard. So now, as you can see, we have a more dynamic design that's filled out from the collar to the entire t-shirt. So one of the amazing advantages of having an account at the Citrus Report is that as an artist or as a brand, you can brand every single product that you create yourself. For example, on this t-shirt, I want to be able to put in my own logo into the neckline. So to do that, I can go to view exterior here on the top left, click down, and there's a yoke option. If I click on that, I get to see just the yoke, which is the inner back side of the t-shirt. So what I'm going to do here is I can actually select any color I want again, or what I can do is get rid of the background color and maybe pattern fill it. Uh, with the same image as the front. I'm going to scale this down a little bit and twist it around, something like that. Um, so that's one way to put in your logos. Uh, another option would be to just simply add artwork and bring in a transparent PNG that you've prepared. I've prepared mine, it's right here. So I'm going to bring it in. It's a little big for the yoke, so I'm going to grab the corners here click on shift to constrain the proportions and reduce the size to make it fit into the yoke. I think it's still too big so I'm going to reduce it even more. Alright, so if I wanted to change uh, the position of this logo in increments, I can also use up and down arrow keys to move it around until I'm satisfied. I'm going to now go back to the view and come back outside to the exterior. So now we have a dynamically filled yoke and this area of the yoke you will not share uh, the branding with the Citrus Report or any other company. It will be just for the artist and the brands alone. So once you think that you're finished with your design, uh, you can check any of these sizes down here in these buttons and they go from small to 2x and you can click on these individually to check these out. The idea behind this designer was for you to only have to design once across all these different sizes. Um, however, instead of having you check through every single one, you can actually go to the check button on the top left hand corner. And just like spell check, it'll check across all the different sizes for you. It says OK, so I'm going to click OK here. It looks like we're ready to go. So now I'm going to save, enter name, and this should only take a few seconds. So I'm going to click OK, and I get this pop-up window. Now the information I enter here into this window is for the public to see. So for this t-shirt, I'm going to name it Citrus Report and I have an option to set it to private if I'm not ready to publish yet. 
I'm going to add some description here. Now what's important about this description area is that anything that you write in here is going to be Google searchable. And so it can create SEO and traffic just from the descriptions that you write into here. So I would take advantage of this and make sure I fill it out. Submit. And now in the products library, I have this t-shirt. Any of the products that I create, I can always change it in the customize mode. If I click on customize, it will take me back to uh, the designer mode where I left off. I'm going to go back here. I'm not going to make any changes. I can go to products mode again and the t-shirt is there. I can go to edit here and uh, it'll take me back to the box in which I can make edits and changes to the description or the name, etc. Okay, I'm going to cancel this. If I click into this t-shirt, you'll see what the public will see. This t-shirt that just took us a couple minutes to build is now going to be sold immediately online. And you can share this on any of your social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. You can just take either a screen capture just like this or any of the views down here you can just hold down control and click into the image and go to save image as and you'll see that if you save it it will save as a transparent PNG and what that actually means is that this t-shirt is already cut out for you so the background is transparent and so if you want to bring this t-shirt into your product section in your shop page on your artist website you can and you can set the background to any color or design that you want whatever you decide to do uh, with this t-shirt just make sure that you link it back to this URL on the top here so that your customers are going to be able to choose any size any quality they want and we'll take care of the customer service the manufacturing and have it delivered to the door and this concludes the basic orientation for the citrus report if you have further questions you can contact us or check out the FAQ section under the user help area of the web page